Here we are, another Friday Night Live, November 17th, 2023. Hope everybody's doing amazing in this wonderful, crazy mode of world we're in. We got uh, some very evil lunatics spread up on the planet who will do anything, anything for control, power, money. And uh, the same story has been going on for thousands of years, millennia. How, how do we uh, how do we maneuver in all this stuff? How do we stay sane in all this stuff when what we're looking at is insanity? Fasting lifestyle brings clarity. Doesn't we take away the hurt and the pain from what we're witnessing? The slaughtering of innocent men, women, children. It's just like, wow. How low can humanity go? I don't know. I don't know how much lower, but um, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking to uh, witness the ongoing things around the world with these wars. It's just the uh, year 2023. We're almost in the year 2024. You know, war is obsolete. And yet there's these warmongers who continue, continue to push their agendas. So uh, embrace, embrace a fasting lifestyle. Stay true to peace, balance, correct conduct. Stay focused. You know, we're a month away from the season change, winter in the Northern Hemisphere, and uh, there's summer in the Southern Hemisphere. They have opposite. But, um, yeah. Is anybody out there? Anybody got any questions? This is Master Fast System support live calls. We've been at this for going on to nine years, the Divine Nine number. Wow. It's hard to believe nine years already passed by. since we started sharing this information that has um, helped and saved and changed so many people's lives. Yeah. We've got curses from people. That's, that's uh, normal. <laughs> people don't, don't want to look in the mirror for truth. They don't want to, they want to point fingers. And, you know, We've taken shots in all directions. And we're still here. We're still here serving the people who choose to take full charge of their own health. Full charge. No ifs, ands, or buts. I am responsible for anything that happens to me. There's nobody to blame but myself. I make the decisions for myself and I take full responsibility for all those decisions and will continue to do so. It's always been like that. <laughs> 33 years ago when I started fasting, you know, off information from a little book, Art of Eretz, Diet, Healing System. 
That's all we had. No internet. So it was those days. It was tough just to get some books. It was uh, not an easy task. It takes sometimes weeks or months to get some stuff, the information. But we got by, and we got by real well. Now we're in the information overlord, the overlord, <laughs> overload. <laughs> Very many years since the internet came out and it's just, we're being blasted with all kinds of information. And in the last few years with the lockdowns, we've been censored to oblivion. A lot of stuff's been taken off the internet and a lot of stuff censored, continuously censored as we are. But uh, we're not here for fame. We're not here for any uh, popularity. You know, we're, the drama stuff, we, Washed it away, meaning, you know, 108 day stuff. You need to focus on a lifestyle. We, if we need to focus on a lifestyle. If if you really want to be in a half, happy, healthy state, um, eventing is futile. It's, um, you, just, you get the experience and, and then what? You know, and people start cursing and so on and so forth for <laughs> all the wrong choices they have made and it's not fun watching that stuff. So uh, let's uh, give a big uh, plaf to all the uh, families that have lost family members. Uh, Big plaf. Out my love. Always flowing. So it's hard to watch this stuff. Just the day after day, what's going on? There's entire entire families that have been wiped out. Pretty sad days. It's not. This is not something that uh, just started. Uh, the planet's been uh, with these war mongers for millennia. Bloodthirsty. It's um, shocking to see how many people are thirsty for blood. You know, in the days of the Romans, where they had the bloodbath games, right? People were thirsty for blood. Nothing's changed, it's just gotten worse. People are thirsty for blood. Instead of being thirsty for the divine Lord God, they're thirsty for blood. Focusing on the matter state, materialism. Instead of you know, putting that focus on the life once we leave this physical body and return to where we came from. But hey, free will, we all have free will to choose and do as we please, right? We can choose to be, live an imbalanced life misery, pain, and suffering, and torture, and murder, and rape, and so on and so forth. Or we can choose a life of peace, balance, correct conduct, and live in harmony with Mother Nature. Sounds more appealing to me, but not everybody agrees. And um, that's why we have warmongers who want to make you believe that um, whatever other people are thinking is wrong and you need to fight those people you need to divide so they can conquer and control you're very very tough times very tough times any questions anybody out there
been quiet for a few weeks and moving into the Christmas season. People celebrating Christmas. It's a um, beautiful time for families. <clears throat> families to unite and spend time with each other. That's the way I look at these holidays, all the holidays, you know, just family time. Just get together and spend time. And um, discuss things, reminisce about the past and beautiful memories and you know, what we're doing and plans for the futures and so on and so forth. And meanwhile, there's uh, people that don't know if they're going to be able to get water right now on the planet or food. You know, going to bed and white sheets because they don't know if they'll be waking up. Hello, Anna. And did you know you have uh, your advice for KN for bleeding, how to use it? Clarify, please. Many ways, uh, Anna, you can put KN directly on any external bleeding. And the same thing you can do internally. You can put and I get some medicinal cayenne. You don't have to get the really, really hot one. Uh, 40,000 heat units is good. You know, some people like stronger. You know, so they have the uh, 60, 90,000, 180,000 heat units. Uh, some people can't tolerate the, high, the hot stuff. You don't need the really hot stuff. 40,000 heat units is good. If, uh, if you like it hotter, get it hotter. And you put... Uh, Start off with like a quarter teaspoon in a, in a glass of water. You can even put it in the juice down the hatch. You can take tinctures or make a tincture from it. Or you can buy tinctures from it. Uh, you can do it that way. The tincture goes in and works quicker uh, than uh, in water. If it's warm water, it'll be, uh, the body will access it quicker. I don't like a tea. Um, you know, how much blood are we talking? Is it internal bleeding? Is it external? It's uh, external. You can just get a pad, put some cayenne powder, stick the pad on somehow. There's, um, uh, what else? I think turmeric also is good for bleeding. Somebody was telling me that they use in India, turmeric powder. Um, if you don't want the heat, um, I don't know internally how that works. I mean, for external. Uh, but it doesn't, the cayenne doesn't really burn a lot on externally. Uh, you'll feel a bit of a sting, but uh, it kind of goes away from the capsaicin. Hemorrhoids bleeding, yeah, but is, it, is it, are they external or internal hemorrhoids? <clears throat> you know, that's like I was saying in the post, it's uh, it's just weakness of the vascular system. The walls of the veins and arteries are weak, and they bulge, and they, that's how you get bleeding, micro bulges or big bulges. And they start bleeding because the wall, as it bulges, the wall gets very thin and the blood passes through. So what do you need to do? We need to restore the elasticity of the vascular system. We need to dig deeper. Um, uh, you've, been, if you've been at it for a while, you will go up to seven level, level seven for a while. And, um, you know, Make sure your your eating times are clean, minimal eating, mostly fruit. Um, you know, 
when we're eating, we don't see a lot of healing, right? <laughs> Minimal things happen when we're eating, but we need to be able to stay sane in this insane world. Uh, we need to be able to uh, keep our emotions balanced and, uh, uh, you know, eating, staying without food for people is, is, a, is a problem, is a challenge. Um, you know, massive fasting, we've had all, all walks of life through the long 108 days. Um, it's once you get into it, it's it's simple, but it's the problem is challenging, challenging for everybody is coming out of it and doing crazy things, making wrong choices that's going to hurt you. I mean, that's why there's no point um, promoting any 108 days anymore. Um, you know, go with the levels. Uh, you know, try uh, if level seven is a, sounds too much, just uh, go to uh, level six, five, six, eating a couple days a week. It's a bit tough to get into that, to fast and then eat and then fast and then eat again. But it's just a mindset of emotion and just have to set yourself. Um, you really, the the beauty about the long fast is the body gets the complete rest from digestion and all the emphasis goes into uh, moving towards balance and restoring the functions of the body and purging, purging through purging. It's all done through purging, right? As we purge, the body can restore things. The body cannot restore back the blueprint we have a perfect blueprint. We cannot restore until we purge the obstructions on the physical, mental, and emotional levels. So we can do it through the physical. That's why we fast. And the other ones are taking care of themselves because we're focusing on purging the physicality. And the mental and emotions are attached to the physical obstructions. So, you know, any emotional challenge we have, we have a physical blockage for that emotion that's given us a challenge and vice versa right i mean physical we have an emotion but it all starts in the emotion so um you know there's people doing therapies with the emotions but um and there's some small successes it can be done it's it's, it's more difficult in, in my experiences it's much much simpler doing it through a fasting purging lifestyle uh, to be able to control the other two and have harmony. But um, hydrogen peroxide also stops bleeding, you know, externally. I don't know. I don't know how it would work internally. You can do small small amounts of hydrogen peroxide internally, uh, a few drops in a glass of water. Uh, but um, it's pretty aggressive, hydrogen peroxide. Pretty aggressive. Um, needs to be food grade. <clears throat> Not the uh, drugstore type. It's got uh, stabilizers in it. You want food grade, that you can buy. Everything is restricted now. It's, you, know, you can only buy small bottles of the stuff. Can't buy large quantities anymore. They've even restricted uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, you know, thirty-five percent food grade. Uh, you can find it, and some health, some health food stores will carry it. Um, yeah, hemorrhoids are literally a pain in the butt. I uh, when I uh, when I went raw, all raw, hundred percent raw, and uh, in the year 2000, all the all my hemorrhoids started coming out. You know, we've had we've had people in 108 days got uh, had uh, hemorrhoids coming up to the surface, right? Everything, all weaknesses will come to the surface, in uh, when you're in a fasting state. And oh, I never had these before. Well, you you've got severe weakness because they're showing up now. All weaknesses will come to the surface. In a fasting state, all weaknesses, 
physical, mental, and emotional. They will all come to the surface. And you we need we need to be prepared for that emotionally. That never mind the saying, I never had it before. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Yeah, you had it before. You just it was not covered, it was buried deep, ready to be bursted out to the maybe a big problem in the future if you don't take care of it now. So it's a blessing. Uh, you put yourself in a fasting state and it came to the surface. So the body can take care of it properly. You know, just like um, people who've experienced, you know, severe pains in areas where they've broken bones many years prior during a, in a fasting state. Severe pains, you know, and they would come and they would just disappear. You know, some would last uh, hours, some people would last a few days, some people would last longer. And then they would disappear, that pain wouldn't come back anymore, gone. Because the body had to correct what it couldn't do through an eating lifestyle when that bone was broken. Yeah, it healed, but it didn't heal completely, 100%. So when you go into the fasting state, it's a beauty. It goes into wherever the, uh, it's not correct according to blueprint, and it's and it corrects it. And it's, you know, it's being conducted from the divine through our soul into our physicality. This is the beauty about the perfect blueprint. Perfect blueprint is the divine creator, <laughs> right? We, we don't make mistakes. We make the mistakes. Everything we do on this planet is a mistake. Like, well, you know, what, what has mankind done to help uh, the planet? It's just pillaging and, and destroying. Yeah, it's just, just crazy. I pray that um, we will, uh, as mankind, we will snap out of this deep evil sleep and um, bring things back in harmony. Do you suggest to work with emotions? How? Um, how to work with emotions? I'm not an expert on working with emotions myself, but um, I found that uh, fasting, it uh, allows these uh, deeply stored traumatic uh, emotions and so on and so forth to come forth to the surface. And as they're coming to the surface, we just use the tools to get through those difficult times. Enema is always number one with breath work, right? essential oils and so on and so forth. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of videos out there on, on emotional work and so on and so forth. Um, find one that uh, rings true to you. Uh, the breath work, the buteco breath work is, is also very powerful. Um, aid in uh, emotional work, breath and emotions, right? Emotions, you know, uh, and that will also really help. And which is something we've been uh, suggesting way for many, many, many years, right? Uh, the breath work. You know, it's a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle. Just like the fasting, the breath work is a lifestyle. The buteco, you know, forcing ourselves, not forcing, but um, reprogramming, reprogramming ourselves to only nasal breathe in and out, always through the nose. Yeah, every once in a while, you're going to get some air in the mouth, no big deal. But our majority of the time we're breathing, it's nasal breathing. And we train ourselves, we reprogram ourselves to only nasal breathe. And we're doing controlled pauses throughout the day, whether we're doing nothing, sitting down, or whether we're doing exercises, even to, uh, during exercises, I'm doing controlled pauses. <laughs> and you keep, you know, keep at it. You know, you go to bed and start doing controlled pauses, doing work and doing controlled pauses, working out, uh, exercising, walking, doing the controlled pauses, always nasal breathing. And you'd be surprised how much less you will be breathing and, and how much more efficient that you'll be able to utilize oxygen. It's just incredible. It's like night and day difference. And you'll find when you're fasting, you'll be able to breathe a lot less than when you're eating. 
The more you eat, the more you breathe. The more you breathe, the more you want to eat. The more you want to breathe, the more you want to eat. The more you want to breathe, the more you want to eat. It's, it's a vicious cycle, right? <clears throat> vicious cycle. And um, I can I can almost not breathe when I'm in a fasting state. It's just a beautiful feeling, right? You know, and the, and the heart rate goes way down. You know, eating, my heart rate's in around 60. and go up, into, up to the 65 if I'm eating heavier. <laughs> you know, fasting states down into the 50s can go, sometimes could go into the 45 range. So it's very interesting how things affect us. You know, I haven't been able to master turning the, uh, matter material food into light myself um is it possible i believe it's possible i believe everything's possible um yeah so was it uh what's emotions uh let me see here i mean uh what's hemorrhoids let me see here and one sec, if I can find it on here. Um, this is uh, Louise Hay. You can heal your life. It's uh, all about the uh, emotions. So you can, uh, I would suggest go online, look up. Some stuff on that. Where are we here? Oh, yeah, hemorrhoids. Oh, yeah, hemorrhoids. Fear of deadlines. Anger of the past. Afraid to let go. Feeling burdened. Does that sound anything that you have? And to release it emotionally, I release all that is unlike love. There is time and space for everything I want to do. Okay. So fear of deadlines, anger of the past, afraid to let go, feeling burdened. I release all that I unlike love. Sorry. I release that all that is unlike love. There is time and space for everything I want to do. So you just repeat that mantra and turn your spirit towards the divine creator. So yeah, if you feel resonating with any of that, <clears throat> Louise Hay, this is how you work with emotions, right? Um, but you know, the Plath, the Divine Creator, um, is the solution for every, every every imbalance. Every single imbalance, the Divine Creator has the answer. Isn't that amazing? Every, every single imbalance. So let me send you some. Uh, this light is uh, the number 432, right? The tone of 432. And I, uh, I like to put this on. It's just, it really supercharges uh, the whole physicality. Like it's, it's like, it's amazing. If you just, uh, just have to be around it and just look at it and um, take it in and allow the harmony to reset you because 432 is the number of creation. And it, the only thing it does is it moves in the direction of balance, peace, balance, correct conduct. So, um, you know, I've had it on here, even though you don't see it, it's on, so you know, it's on and you can tap into it. I've had it on this call, this whole call. We've seen some pretty, pretty outstanding, amazing things with the tone of 432. And, um, yeah. 
Oh, what? Send me uh, send me an email and of your uh, address, and I will uh, I will mail you some uh, some decals we made that um, has helped. Yeah. It's helped so many people. We've seen we've seen tremendous. Amazing things happen with these things, you know. We we put it on uh, two two people, two separate people that were stuttering. Put it on them; they stopped stuttering instantly. It was just like, wow. <laughs> on children, we've seen super amazing things like testing with balance and stuff. Um, a woman that was cross-eyed, I put it on her. It was put on her heart. The eye went straight right in front of my eyes and went, whoa, it's like, wow. <laughs> so I'll send you, I'll send you a few of them and you can play around with them. Um, you know, I have a, a, a big one on a block of wood. The, the wood amplifies it. It's just nature, right? It's just the wood amplifies it. And you can put anything on here. You can put your juice on here. You can put your teas on here. Uh, water, it, it completely softens up the water. It changes the state. If you put any alcohol on it, <laughs> you know, drinking alcohol, whatever, you know, whiskey, it, it, it ages it at least at least two, three years instantly. Wine, it's just like, it's unreal. Like we, we, we did this uh, in the late 2000s and the world was not ready for it at that time you know we, we sold a few quite a few and then um it just uh wasn't time and there's so many other things that came out at that time that we've tested that were absolutely phony and people fall for the expensive things and so on and so forth and people, the people that can talk the gift of the gab and, and then we just gave up on it and I have a few left. If you want it, I'll send it to you, your local. So email me your address. If you have my, if you have my email, it's on the, so if you don't, it's through the website. I don't, I don't put out the email in public for various reasons. With all the spam going on these days, it's it's absolutely insane. The amount of junk mail that comes through. We used to get physical junk mail. Now we get it in, in our computers, and we're getting it all the time. We're getting it in videos. We're getting it in everything. You can't escape it. The world of consumerism. You think the blue color of candle can help for health? Well, color therapy, um, uh, people use color therapy. I, um, the blues, blues and purples, they're very spiritual color. Um, Healing colors, like a green's like more of a balancing healing, I believe. Um, you look it up online. I can't remember. It's uh, have uh, looked up, you know, color therapy many, many, many years ago, and different colors for different things. You can you can try that. Um, but the, all the things just focus on your goals. Don't focus on the on the challenge you have. Just focus on the goal of seeing yourself, your body purging out that area of obstruction so that body can heal and be in a healing, uh, a completely healed, balanced state. And it will be. It will be. Um, it's, um, you know, well, several people in master fasting got rid of their hemorrhoids several uh, from my memory 
And um, hemorrhoids are not fun. So yeah, as I was, I was saying, when I went raw, you know, they all started coming out and hanging out. <laughs> and, and I remember how long it took. It took, uh, you know, I was, I was fasting as well. Um, man, I can't remember, maybe six months to a year, and then they were all gone. So it was just a week, or even my all my teeth, they all went loose. Like it was, I would bite down, and they would all my teeth would be moving. So you know, people get freaked out when things like that happen. You know, I just understood the little information I had. It was it was bodies purging out. Trying and, and healing, restoring balance, purging everything doesn't need. And this is the theme of Master Fast. This is what I've learned from my experiences, and that's what it was. And after that, the teeth became stronger than ever. Right? Stronger than ever. Until I destroyed them again later on, many years down the road with a high fat stunt. That's another story. But um yeah, I was uh, also mentioned you can put ice on that area while keeping your feet in a bucket of hot water, 108 degrees, 108, magic number. Keep your feet in there and you do that, you know, three, four times a day. So that will help cool the inflammation in the area, wherever the problem is. You put the ice. It cools the inflammation and it drives it to the heat, right? The inflammation is hot. It'll go to the heat. You can try that as well. There's so many things you can do, Anna. It's, you just have to envision yourself that they're there no more. And it will be. We have all the tools. We have a lot of tools. Right? If it's a lot of bleeding, use the cayenne. Um, you know, or the turmeric. You can try that. You can mix turmeric and cayenne externally, if they're external. If they're internal, it's going to be painful. <laughs> it may burn down in that area. Because... Um, you may want to use turmeric instead of cayenne in that area. Um, uh, yeah, if they're internal, what can you use? You can uh, use like a tampon thing. You soak it in in uh, in the tea, and you and then you coat it with some turmeric powder and insert it. And just leave it there for as long as you can. Uh, there's many things you can do. Many things you can do. Uh, you can do sits baths with tea, right? Stringents, herbs, kidney tea. You know what a sits bath is, right? You just you just sitting in a small tub. You can do it in a bathtub as well with a small amount of water have your tea but it's easier if you have just a small bucket the low buckets a small round bucket that you sit in and don't fill it up too much because it's been overflow and just sit in it for half an hour and you do that a couple times a day at least try that for you know a week or two um clay packs Clay packs, mix it a little bit of charcoal in the clay, make a nice inch thick, and you can just sit on it. You can just sit on the clay pack. Um, put some saran wrap so it stays moist, and do that one hour a day. There's the clay also helps draw. Many, many, many tools we have. Many tools. You just need to focus and, and start using them. And hemorrhoids are no more. 
Yeah. So just think if you have, we have a problem in one area of the body, what about the rest of the vascular system? It's in the same condition. Down there, you know, if we're, you know, straining a little bit, a little bit constipated or whatever, we're putting pressure so it shows up there. But, you know, what about the rest of our system? The rest of our system is in the same state. So we have to address the situation and solve the whole, right? But for the time being, you know, we want to focus on bringing balance um, in that particular area because it's very uncomfortable. But we're always, always focusing holistically. Um, this is why we say, put yourself in the autopilot state, the fasting state, meaning you don't have to f worry about anything. <laughs> In your fasting state, the body corrects itself. Wherever it needs to do, it does. Isn't it a beautiful thing? I think so. It's miraculous how simple it is. And then we have all the tools that we can play with. So, you know, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to uh, just sit and meditate. You know, we have many things to do. Keep ourselves busy. Always have movement, right? You know. You know. Right now, I'm rebounding like every couple of days, and the other days, I'm basically doing uh, you know some exercises and stretches and stuff. Uh, so, and, uh, no, sorry, whatever. But I'm doing the rebounding and the stretching in the same day, and the other day, I'm using. I have a yoga swing. I don't know if you know what a yoga swing. It's made out of parachute material. And you can use it to hang upside down and do some upside down push-ups and stuff. It's really nice. It just stretches out. So I do that one day and I do the rebounding and <clears throat> exercises the other day. So I'm, I'm doing different things daily. And, and um, you know, as before, I would be doing everything every day. I'm getting lazy. <laughs> but... At the same time, <laughs> I can I can do more with less. I don't need to do every day. You know, the one thing that bodybuilders and you know these people trying to build heavy duty muscle and everything, they don't give the body enough time to recuperate and heal. You know, working out every single day, five, six days a week. I don't know what some of them are doing, seven days a week. It's crazy, crazy. No time for the body. To recuperate and heal and then there what happens is you burn out you know uh I, I've, I've talked to many people you know and then they uh they get sick cold flu whatever knocks them out for a couple of weeks and then they go you know they weren't working out and they go back to working out and they're stronger hallelujah hallelujah why <laughs> I've heard this so many times. Number one, the body purges all the crap forced through a forced purge from cold and flu. And number two was rest period. And they, wouldn't, they weren't doing anything. So both of them have major play as to why the body um, was able to get stronger. You can't work out every single day. It's that's ludicrous, you know. They're doing steroids and all that. What's happening? So many bodybuilders drop dead, and so many of them kidney failures, and from all the drugs they're taking and stuff. I don't know what kind of life that is. But um, drugs, I don't like drugs of any sort. I don't like any. Pharma stuff. I don't trust that system. I don't trust. I don't trust the pharma cartel at all, because the initiation of it from the start was not built on peace, balance, and correct conduct. It was built in the opposite. It was built to enslave and control. Enslave and control. 
And what are we faced with today? More enslaving and more control than any time in history, probably. So we either wake up to what's going on and we bow down to Lucifer. You know, that's his system. You enslave. Suffering, pain, suffering. We as mankind, if we made this the choice collectively, to, it would pain and suffer, misery, pain and suffering would stop on this planet instantly. But we're stubborn. We know better than the divine creator. So we're going to do it through uh, raping and pillaging, murder, you know, war, all the, through the warmongering. So we know better, right? Nature works perfectly without man's intervention. Works perfectly. Perfect, perfect design. Things that we can never understand, the intricacies, infinite intricacies, how everything works beautiful and harmony. Every single microorganism has a reason that it was created for. And uh, it's just fascinating when you look at how wonderful and then there's people don't believe there's a divine creator. Wow. How arrogant to believe there's no divine creator. It just came out of nothing. All this vastness, infinite vastness of intelligence, and we came out of nothing. Not possible. That is not possible. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions? We're going to wrap it up. So Anna, send me an email, and I'll uh, get that out to you. Pop it in the uh, mail. Unless you want to come pick it up, let me know. Um, Alrighty. Uh, 4.32 Every day, a.m. and or p.m., your time, local time. Send out plasma love always flowing to all those being tortured right now around the world. All the poor children, the innocent, innocent children, women, innocent men. And let's send out extra plaf to all the warmongers holding the guns, all the people pushing the buttons that they don't know what they're doing. Let's penetrate their hearts with plaf so it may open up and they can see what they're doing. They can drop the guns. It's just absolutely insanity. 4.32 a.m. and or p.m. every day, nine seconds. Nine seconds, send out plaf. Anna, wow, Anna, how much love I feel from you. I feel very grateful. Thank you so much, Anna. We're here to support anybody who wants support. That's what we've been doing for almost nine years now. And it's grateful when people get the results they're looking for and share their stories and gratitude, and it's just wonderful. So thank you so much for joining. We'll see you back on the page, Facebook, however long that's going to be. And uh, we'll see you back on uh, uh, Wednesday, Facebook Live, 3.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Toronto Time. So good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Keep sending that plaf to everybody. Ciao.